our channel, I'm Vicky from Performing Arts Academy Wales and today for you we have our exam tips part two. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the last video, we've got some more tips for you ready if you've got dance exams coming up. So let's go straight into them. Tip number one, remember now the examiner wants you to do well, okay? The examiners are on your side, they're not trying to trip you up. They're not trying to put you off or anything like that. They want you to do well in your exam. They want to see you do your best. I remember one of my teachers saying to me when I was doing my exams, they were like, the examiner just wants you to feel like you've had the best possible class you could have had. They just, they want you to do a really good exam. They want you to do well. They want to see you at your best. So just remember that the examiner is not trying to trip you up. Okay. Tip number two is not to stress about your exams. And this is something I've mentioned in one of my other videos. There is a difference between stressing and being nervous. Like it's fine to be nervous, being nervous is okay. That little jitter in your stomach that really makes you work hard and makes you go for it is great. But being at a point where you're stressed about it and you're working yourself up, you don't wanna work yourself up and find that you can't eat and you feel sick and oh, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You don't need to stress yourself out about it. Your teacher wouldn't have entered you for your exam if they didn't think you were ready to do it. So just remember that. Your teacher has faith in you, so you can have faith in you, okay? So just don't, please don't stress about your exams. It's not worth it. Tip number three is to make sure that you've worn in your shoes. So I know some people really like to have new shoes for a dance exam. That's great, but you have to have worn in your shoes. You can't turn up to the exam and that's the first time you've ever worn them. So what I would suggest you do, particularly if it's ballet, if you want to have a new pair of shoes for your exam, is you want to get your shoes, get home that day, put them on, maybe wear them to class that week, wear them in, get them prepped, do anything you need to do to them, and then put them aside till your exam. If you've put them to one side, then you can get them out the night before your exam, pop them on again, make sure they, or maybe a couple of day, days before your exam, pop them on again, make sure they feel okay, and you know you're super confident in beautiful, clean shoes, you're good to go. Tip number four leads on nicely from that. So my fourth tip, get everything ready for your exam the night before, okay? You don't want to be lying in bed thinking, Oh, have I put this in? Have I put this in? Oh, I need to remember this in the morning. Okay, even if your exam's in the afternoon, get a spare pair of tights. This isn't a tip, this is just a little thing from me to you. If it's a ballet exam, put in a spare pair of tights. Because I have been there before where you're really nervous and you're like, oh, I need to pee. So I quickly went to the loo before my exam and I ripped a hole in my tights. Luckily, I had a spare pair of tights with me, but that's what I always say to my students, make sure you've got a spare pair of tights. Always have a spare pair of tights with you before an exam. <laughs> Get everything together the night before so that you know you're ready to go. Tip number five, it's okay to ask questions in an exam, okay? You don't need to be scared of the examiner. It's a formal situation, so if you do have a question, put your hand up, don't just shout out answer the examiner's questions. She doesn't want you to stand there quietly. If she asks you a question, answer them. But also, it's okay to ask a question. If you're not sure what the free work is, or if she set you a rhythm and, and you're not quite sure, or you've confused yourself, or it's okay to ask. Don't just muddle through if you're not sure. If it was a normal class, you would just ask your teacher. So ask the examiner. I've been in exams before, my TAP exam, I was in there on my own and I asked them to turn the music up because I just, I didn't feel that it was loud enough, I couldn't hear it properly, so I just asked them to turn it up, they're not going to say no, <laughs> so it's fine, it's okay to ask questions. Tip number six is to make sure that you don't ever hold back in class. Do not hold back when you're doing your exam work in class, okay? First of all, you need to build up your stamina because you're in that room for an hour, you know, and it's intense. The examiner's just watching you, you know, they're marking you. It's, it is a hard situation, so you need to build up your stamina. 
you know, we have those parts where, where the examiner's writing and you're just stood there, but you don't want to be puffing and puffing because you're out of breath, you want to control your breathing, you know, so you need to build up your stamina in class. And also, following on from that, your teacher wants to see you doing your best in class because then they will know that you're going to do your best in the exam. You need to do your full performance in class so that you know you can consistently do it throughout your exam. If you don't give it 100% in class, then how can your teacher get a realistic idea of what you're capable of? Like, why would you hold back? I know people do it and I don't get it. You should never hold back. Don't ever hold back, even in life, with anything. Don't hold back. Why would you, what are you waiting for? Why would you hold back? Don't hold back. You have to go for it, you have to go for everything in life because we only get one chance, so don't hold back, don't do it. <laughs> Last one, tip number seven, is to make sure that you perform. Your exam is a performance, enjoy it. Okay, this is who we are, this is what we do. We're dancers, we're performers, that's what we do. So perform it and enjoy it. Also, you get marked on your performance, you get marked on your artistry, you get marked on your sense of performance. So, you know, you need to perform, but you know, this is who we are, this is what we do. So just go into that exam and enjoy it and show the examiner, yeah, this is me, this is me, I'm doing my best for you. So enjoy it. That's almost what you're portraying to the examiner, like enjoy my performance, I'm giving you my all, I'm going for it. Yeah, so just enjoy it because, you know, you don't get to do these things again. So they're fab opportunities and it's a great, great experience as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen our part one yet, um, make sure you click the link in a second. I'll pop it up on the video for you. And if there's anything else you'd like us to cover or if you want us to do a part three at any time, if there's anything else I might have missed, then let us know in the comments or drop us a message on Instagram. I know a lot of you like to do that. Um, but yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget, give us a like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks guys, bye.